the genome sequence is the code for life of the citrus plants. The kind of citrus that we sequence, it's commonly known as the trifoliate orange. It's actually a relative of citrus. Trifoliate orange and its hybrids are widely used as rootstock for more than three million citrus trees. Uh, just in Florida alone in 2018 to 2019. It's particularly significant because it's been a source of disease resistance genes for many important diseases that citrus suffers from, including citrus greening disease, HLB. And with the focus in Florida these days on citrus greening, um, this is a very important genetic resource for us to work with. We can potentially use that information and apply this genome editing technology. People refer to it as CRISPR. We can potentially use that technology to develop citrus trees that will resist citrus greening. My lab uh, was leading and coordinating this uh, genome sequencing project. It's a huge work. It involves three institutions and uh, several scientists uh, across several laboratories. We partnered with the Joint Genome Institute of the U.S. Department of Energy. The way genome sequencing works, we, we extract the DNA from the plant. Um, it's chopped into millions of little pieces. And these little pieces are run through a, a genome sequencing machine. And so we end up with a jigsaw puzzle with several millions of pieces. And so this genome is one of the first that's been done using a new sequencing technology that basically creates bigger pieces. So it's easier to put the puzzle together. And so what we have now with this genome for citrus currently is, is the highest quality assembly of any citrus genome that we have. It may very well be that there is no silver bullet, but this is going to be a, a, a pretty big weapon um, that's, that's going to make a huge difference in citrus greening research.